will tell you how to pronounce it. But I just know for the for the short term, we are going to be calling him Keying. It's from Genshin. I don't play Genshin Impact. I'm sorry. I don't play waifu simulators. People will tell me it's a gotcha. And I was like, no, nah, it's probably a game that actually stole the premise of Breath of the Wild, but said, you know what? We'll add waifus and people will buy it. And they did. But hey, man, if you play it more to you, you have fun playing what you want to. I've never played it. Actually, I did try a Genshin Impact. Just, it wasn't for me. But also, I, I don't want to play too many games that require grinds because then it's just like... I'll fall out of I'll fall out of something I would rather play. Uh, enough of that though. Let's get right into the match here, of course. What a really good use of their coming up for the full up B, able to go for that low recovery, and that's rough there because it sends you at such an angle that yeah, you can miss the tech, and that steals early stock, man. Mr. E, I'm sorry. Uh Wadi has gone through so much to not lose anything that Already seen that early stock gone? Man, maybe this opponent might have something to say about that. Um uh right now hold on. The the one thing the one thing here for Hero as well that we kinda saw earlier is the up out of shield. It's actually one of Hero's only best options out of shield, and it's the fastest option out of shield. There are quite a few other choices, but definitely the up is much of a bigger choice. Just because it's faster compared to all his other options there. That's going to be a backer coming up from Wadi. Uh, but Wadi, man, he is playing with momentum. You can tell he's not wasting his time. Gets his landing aerial and immediately lose. Proceeds to try to duck on this man. The second he sees him off the stage. The Kaboom. And don't forget that actually has... That actually has a win hitbox that actually brings you back in. Thank you so much, chat. Chat, chat is letting me know is uh, Kaching. I guess why you yeah, it's ka -ching. yeah, it's ka -ching. For, uh My friend told me about this. Uh, he plays. He used to play Genshin long. It's ka -ching from uh, Genshin Impact. People and their wifeys, man. Yeah, honestly. Uh, well, how's Bondos? Uh, no. Hey, man, not here to judge. Not here to judge. Uh, but yeah, so far ka -ching here doing a solid job already against Wadi up these stocks. And knows how important bounce is actually going to be in this matchup just because of all the projectiles that we know we Fit Trainer can actually use. Every... I'm not going to get into it with the chat. Every waifu is a good waifu in that game, apparently. But I disagree. I'm, but that's not... I'm not all about that. That's not me, man. Very... I'm... Like I said, if you are, more to you, man. I'm not here to judge, man. We're out here to play this game called Smash Brothers. All right. right excellent now, fake out with this back air, too. And then sets up for the whack. Able to stop that recovery. Oh, wow. That... Then uh, fireball is really strong. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I really don't see many he uh, heroes online, like at all. It's a character that, for sure, uh, it's it's hard because, like, sorry, I think I put the score right in here. Hero is definitely one of those characters that I just tell anybody in general, you have to really. It requires a high skill set in terms of knowing his abilities to use, but also on top of that. Um, oh my God, this whole chat today. Um, as long as as long as you understand your ability to use not only his movement, but his 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 normals alongside with his ability to use the RNG that he has, and also able to shuffle that out, is going to be really really strong. Uh, for Kaching, like it, it all depends. Like, cool bounce. He knows bounce is such a strong thing in this matchup. Use bounce. But even if you have one of the moves that you're not willing to use, even then, just shuffling it out of the deck and pulling it out there gives you access to better ones. And like that setup with whack was really good. Wadi knows I have to avoid that whack at all costs with my percentage. But then setting up into one of the normal specials that he actually has access to at all times is big because that fireball has so much knockback but it also requires you to get an indefinite reach to be able to pull it off there and it's, i know leon plays here as a secondary i did not i i'm not too fun i didn't know i think i knew about nair not but not too much i know uh, leon, I, I was gonna say i think i know leon plays banjo for sure i'll be right back i'm gonna get a a drink real quick But yeah, for sure, definitely Kachin taking game one over Wadi is really, really big. Uh, kind of slowing down Wadi's streak 
uh, Chad mentioned it earlier, like he definitely was one of the players that has not like lost a set so far. So coming into Kachin, losing game one, getting 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 stage spied, and then losing the first game like this right there with Kachin knowing how to use balance against character like we fit, that just goes to show. Why was Hero banned in some countries when the game first came out? It was thought to be it was a mixture of two things. It was mostly because of the RNG factor in the character, but in some countries, depending on the tournaments, they actually banned the character because of a language issue. Um, in some tournaments, I believe there were a few instances where Hero was playable, and because Japanese players, some of them did not understand how to read in English, playing Hero in English was really bad for them. So not only would they not know what RNG you got, they could not read your RNG that you got to try to react to it. That's what made the character even worse. It was also a combination of just RNG with the language barrier. All right, I'm back. Ready? All right, heading into the second game now, staying the same characters. Since they did take this long, I'm guessing they switched stage. And if not, uh, then I, I wonder what they spent all that time doing. Uh, you know what I tell people? When you're in situations like this where you lose game or like that, or just in general, even Wi-Fi or offline, Having some time to kind of compose yourself and give yourself some thoughts about the match you just won or lost is still good because you always want to have that game plan in mind. All right, cool. I won game one. What did he do in game one? What can I do better? All right, let's put that into play. Let's put that into action. Don't don't become complacent because your opponent will never be complacent with their loss or their victory. That's true. All right, right now, could uh, why do you uh, using that uh deep breathing to his advantage? Keeping keeping stage controls. Kaching right now is having a hard time. Just once uh, once Kaching gets up to stage or gets on stage, he's just getting grabbed. Yeah. The one thing for a lot of people like asking like how Hero and RNG work together. I think Hero is definitely one of those high tier characters. The characters' normals aren't that great, but the RNG factor, even as a fear factor, and even some of his normal specials like that, like is really 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 strong. All right, yeah. well, Wadi just lost his first stock right there, but I mean, yeah. he could easily bring it back due to his uh, deep breathing, and Kaching is at, at kill percent for deep breathing, but right now, Wadi's having trouble getting back to stage right now. Oh, and I believe he either got Psych Up or Oomph uh, right there. Uh, oh, that was Psych Up right there. Oh, yeah, and he nearly um, ends up bounce, which immediately stops Wadi's game plan from the ledge. The thing for Kaching here, Mighty Man, is he knows even if I'm not using my RNG, having enough mana pout points to be able to use things like Kafriz and Sizzle is going to be really strong. Dash attack to even read the landing, man, and the Kaching is up on so far on Wadi two stocks. Uh, Mighty Man, this might be Wadi's first loss, man, because he is up two stocks like he was last game. Come on, Wadi, like you got this, bro. I, I feel yeah. like he should have. I feel like I honestly feel like he should have brought out the rock. Oh wait, hold on. This is semis though, so this is a three out of five. Yeah, this is best of three. Sorry, best of five. Best of five. So Wadi still has one more game. But the thing here is Kaching has so much momentum, but also the ability to kind of understand the distance when, in which you can actually use your specials and the RNG that he has is really strong. Every, being able to just shuffle out of like balance every so often, which he's done too, forcing Wadi to play a little bit more aggressive, and even then. Kaching has been doing a pretty solid job of just keeping the spacing between him and a Wi-Fi trainer when possible. But yeah, I mean, like, Bounce is definitely, like, one of the best uh, tools that uh, Hero has against, like, character against characters like Wii Fit Trainer due to them losing, like, two moves. Yeah, and we talked about how even if you have one move that you don't want to use, and, like, Bounce in this matchup is super usable, but even then, just having Bounce activates it, shuffles it out of play, giving you access to the other RNG that you want to have instead. Basically, you're shuffling a bad card for a good card, but for Kaching here, he is shuffling all the good cards into this deck as he gets his back air, two stocks up against Wadi, 2-0 over him right now. Man, Wadi is definitely feeling the pressure about right him. Yeah, um... Wadi should change to the Rob. I'm just gonna say it right now. Hopefully he can uh, bring it back. Hero is cringe. I can't, I will say yes to that. That is very true. I disagree. I don't think Hero is cringe. 
He is cringe, bro. Like, honestly, I would just say, I guess he's luck based and stuff, but like sometimes that. I don't even think he's luck based. I don't know where Body went. Hold on, I gotta check on this chat here. Uh, he he probably he's probably I mean like not mostly but like sometimes he can be, like uh. I guess down B is slightly luck based. Um, well okay actually, heroes playstyle is like improv. You don't really have like a specific style you want to go. It's, he's mostly improv I would say. Oh my god. Give him some credit guys. I would definitely say in my in my experience trying to use the character but also trying to understand the character as well. Um uh Hero is one of those characters that the RNG is improv, but the characters normals are pretty mid. Uh the characters normals are pretty much mid tier, but the specials that he has all together, even though they're limited by mana pat points are so very strong like that full fireball he gets when fully charged is ridiculous even then things like the thunderbolt that we also see is ridiculously strong when fully charged and a good range tool his ability to honestly use your his distance game that's somewhat there not really is really strong because it's able to give him time to access the rng in which he can start to use to his benefit but if you're able to oppress hero at the close range which a lot of characters can do then hero will definitely struggle. Like I said, one of hero's only best options out of shield is actually going to be upbeat. And even then, it leaves him vulnerable. Like, we've seen it. Upbeat out of shield, all it is is a small whoosh. But then he's still vulnerable. It's not a definite hitbox. It's a very small hitbox. So you either have to... Sh sh um, Sorry. You either have to smother hero or you get smothered by him in terms of the distance. Basically, he wants that distance game to be able to use the RNG. If he doesn't have that distance game, he's not going to prevail that well. Up air is like the worst struggle tool. Up air is like almost not usable. Like for hero, it's mostly forward air, back air, and down air at times. And then neutral air to cover, like, you know, a potential cross up against your opponent in the air. But Wadi gonna say, you know what, maybe this Weeper Trainer is not gonna be it right now. I am gonna be going Rob. Forget it. Let's put my best foot forward and we'll see what uh, Kachin can do against him. Let's go. He's pulling out the Rob finally. I, I knew it. I knew he was gonna change, it, switch it up because like I literally said like, bro, we should go Rob. Yeah, I think Crooks and Castles kind of has the best to sum it up. Time and luck is all the hero player needs, and you have to buy time for luck. In this case, you have to space for the time. You have to space in order to get the luck. And if you're not able to space, trust me, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. That's what I'm saying. You need to smother hero before he even gets a chance, and that's something that Wadi is able to do with this Rob. Already playing aggressive, not even giving him the time to charge any of his projectiles or even get that ability goes for magic burst and then wadi able to space away as a counter for that using uh wadi right now is actually doing way better than with his we fit trainer oh getting hit by the forder though following it up with the jab attack oh nice uh nair off of stage uses gyro but doesn't really do anything thwack comes out doesn't do much probably was a miss input even then, getting Thwack, like I said, even if you're using Thwack and it's not usable at that moment in time, it's getting it out of the way. Like I said, you're shuffling what it, what you consider a bad card out to the to the bottom of the deck to try to buy, buy a better one. In games like Yu-Gi-Oh, man, cards like that are ridiculously expensive. But he doesn't have to pay anything but the low price of $4.99, maybe $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. But that read on the getup here, that's going to be big for Kaching and then Wadi with what once was was once pressure it's gonna be a small cooldown as he tries to get back into the game all right let's see oh nice down oh using the gyro down tilt to gyro oh the snipe with gyro let's go all right right now i believe that he has a accelerate right now yeah using up air uh throw to up air uh as you said, up air is a really bad move. Oh wow, using a bounce right at the perfect time. Uh, picks up the gyro, throws it all the way up in the air. All right, nice. Uh, uh, I think that was an up smash or no, that was an up tilt. Oh, using the lightning right there and using the uh the whoosh. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. 
Oh dang, down tilt, down tilt, and a uh, angled side smash. Yeah. And it's gonna be a pretty good corner carry coming out for Wadi, which is something that he's definitely looking for. All right, right now, Kaching is actually hanging in there a little bit against Wadi's Rob. Oh, oh Snooze coming in clutch. Take a nap, good sir. Take a nap as this hero moves up to two stocks, gets bounced, activated the psych up. Man, Kaching is playing with no pun intended, dude. He's playing with a lot of money in his pockets right now because you might be able to 3 0 Wadi so far, but Wadi looking for the opportunity just by himself time. Try to get back towards center stage, avoid as much as possible from Hero, gets his full laser blast, and then immediately proceeds to take stage control. All right. All right. Zoom to get oh, out of there. Zoom came in clutch. Oh, good, good DI, good DI. All right, Kachin looking to come back on the stage. Oh, nice. And he holds the ledge to get that full invincibility to avoid air. the robot arms. He did miss his downer, though. Very, very unfortunate. Yeah, psych up here. This could be big for Kaching, honestly. If he gets one indefinite read in the critical hit, that'll be pretty much it for Wadi, even at 21. But Wadi does an excellent job. I think that's the one thing Wadi's been really smart of. Is like, okay, I'm at the ledge. How do I come back as safe as possible? Especially against Hero. And like I said, Hero wants to threaten Wadi every single time to buy himself time to get those really, really good RNGs, like like says at that point. It's not the best one, but it's got some damage here. That is gonna be the Tombstone Pile Driver from that, even the full stock here. Kachin with great DI, and of course the neutral toss of the gyro here will give Wadi a little bit of a break. All right. Uh, Kachin right now is sitting at a good, oh, nice shield of the snooze though. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe he has a psych up available right now. So let's see uh, how Kachin uses this. Yeah, nah, well, well, uh, in tangent with also a bounce, because the thing here about him having psych up and bounce is he's able to just avoid getting out zoned by Rob and then able to constantly pressure Rob with psych up being activated at all times. Gyro is currently on the floor right now. He does have accelerate now. Wadi is having a hard time getting stage control though. Oh, missing that back here that could have possibly given given Kaching stage control, and now Wadi has stage control. Kaching using a uh, directional air dodge to get back to stage. I believe he was trying to go for a down air right there, missing the forward air, being too committal, and this Ooh. is not it. It has accelerate once again. This Rob is looking even. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. And that was a good call from Kaching. I'm not going to lie. The auto able to call out the jump from Wadi. That was kind of one of the things Wadi has been going for is an out of shield Nair and out of shield sort of punish. And yeah, that up tilt just going to catch it at that last second. The one moment. I think that's the also common option against opponents jumping out of shield. We talked about how Hero's one choice out of shield is going to be his up B. And that's kind of.